giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Kling with Mediacom News Leaders. Joining us today is Elizabeth Buck, the Director of Iowa Workforce Development. Elizabeth, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Well, we know there are a lot of Iowans out of work right now, and the question everybody wants to know is so when are things going to get better? Well, we're starting to see a recovery nationally and in Iowa in certain sectors, but um, we're still, I would say, in sort of a jobless recovery right now. Um, even though here in Iowa we're still um, holding our own, we're staying fairly steady at about 6.7 percent mm -hmm. of our workforce that is currently unemployed. And those figures, even though they are high, it's much better than what we're seeing nationally where we're over 10 percent. So sure. Iowa is in, a, is in a good place, but for the over 90,000 Iowans right now today who are on unemployment insurance, it is still a lot of folks who are out there struggling to connect to work. And I think for us, one of the hardest things is that we have about 25 percent of those 90,000 who have been unemployed for 27 weeks or longer. Mm -hmm. And Iowa has really historically been a state where people get back to work very quickly. We were averaging before this recession at about nine weeks that a person would average on unemployment insurance. So we have still a large population of Iowans who are struggling to get back on their feet. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of surprising in the state right now. We have pockets in the state where the unemployment is over 10 percent. Um, it's really hitting eastern Iowa much harder than western Iowa. And then we have pockets in like southeast Iowa. Lee County is the highest unemployment rate and it's over 10 percent right now today. And then we have a pocket up by Mason City um, I think that started really with the Winnebago um, reduction in their workforce and really trickled to different sectors in that area where they have a fairly large pocket of unemployment in that area of the state too. So eastern Iowa has been hit um, harder than western Iowa. Men have been hit much harder in Iowa than women, mainly because the sectors that have seen the high unemployment construction and manufacturing are usually dominated by men um, sure. in those sectors. So. Um, not all Iowans have really been hit um, the same um, in this recession. Mm -hmm. And since it's taking people longer to really connect to work, we're really encouraging folks to consider upskilling while they're laid off because it's going to take them longer. And for many of these folks, they may not have the skill levels that are needed for the jobs that are out there today. Yeah, the competition is tough. Very tough. And luckily, uh, there have been some unemployment benefit extensions that Iowa's been able to take advantage of. Right. Um, we are right now, um, due to the federal extensions that have come online, we're at, a, at 73 weeks of benefits for Iowans um, right now. So it has only 20, those first 26 weeks are paid for out of the Iowa Unemployment Trust Fund, and the rest of those weeks are paid for out of federal dollars. So we, mm -hmm. so for folks who are on, on unemployment, there are longer benefits out there for them. Um, but it is taking longer for them to, to connect to work, so that's good to have that extension. Sure. The thing that we're concerned about, though, are the federal extensions expire um, December 31st of this year. Um, there is a move in Congress this week to extend those benefits through another six months, and we're very, very hopeful that that will occur because we'll have about, about 30,000 of the 90,000 folks if those extensions don't go into place, um, we'll be going off of unemployment in just a few weeks. And this is kind of a hard time for folks oh, yeah. to be going off of those benefits. So we're really encouraging our congressional delegation to um, go forth with those extensions because mm -hmm. it's going to be very helpful to Iowans who are, who are really struggling. Yeah. Some hope on the horizon, though. IWD has been able to apply for some grants that could right. help with the job situation. Right. We were fortunate we've um, applied for a number of grants, and two that we've already received are in the area of green jobs. Iowa has, has really been on the forefront of green job creation. As you know, we're second in the, in the country for wind energy, so that has um, created some great job opportunities for Iowans in the wind turbine um, industry. And so um, we received um, a couple of grants for studying of this green job industry and what does it mean for Iowa and how many jobs do we see coming online in the next few years and what are the skill sets that these, these uh, jobs are going to create for Iowa. So we're excited about those opportunities with those grants. Mm -hmm. We also applied for a six million dollar grant for training dollars for Iowans who are unemployed or laid off to get back on their feet and get trained for these jobs that are created. Mm -hmm. So we hope to hear about that grant yeah. in the next few weeks too. Some good news to come then. Elizabeth, yes. thanks for being here today. This hour's news leader has been Elizabeth Buck with Iowa Workforce Development. Join us next time to get the full story from reliable sources exclusively on Mediacom News Leaders.